Okay, so in this example here, we're gonna now do the same thing for this one. Again, same process. We're gonna try to make this one into um, this, right? So we're gonna try to get into the form of A over one minus R, okay? So let's do that. So again, first I'm gonna factor out a two, right? We need a one here. So I'm gonna write this as X cubed over two times one minus X over two. And now I'm gonna divide the top and the bottom by two. And so I get X cubed over two equals one minus X over two. So now my R, right? R equals X over two and then A equals X cubed over two. So now I can write my absolute value of R, right? The absolute value of R, which equals the absolute value of X over two is, has to be less than one. Okay, which means that what? Um, the absolute value x has to be less than two, right? Because I can, again, the absolute value of two is two, right? So now this gives me um, x is less than two and greater than negative two. So there's my interval of convergence, okay? And so now that means that I can rewrite f of x is equal to x cubed 2 minus x is also equal to the summation of n equals 0 to infinity of what? Well, it's going to be x cubed over 2 times what? <clears throat> x over 2 to the nth power. Now, if I combine these again, like I did before, I can write this as n equals zero to infinity. And so this will combine with this and I get x to the n plus three power, okay, over two to the n plus one power. And so if I write out the infinite uh, series, the infinite uh, polynomial, then I will write it as such. So it'll be, well, at n equals zero, this is gonna be x cubed over four, or excuse me, over two, plus <coughs> x to the sixth power plus two squared, or four, right? Plus x to the ninth power over eight plus x to the twelfth power over 16 and so on. And there you go, it's that easy. Just practice. Have a great day.